Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fable 2. All right, when we left off, we had uh, made our way to Oakfield, and we were gradually making our way to the main mission, but I took the other path. <laughs> I took a trip down the other path, was what my brain was going to do, but then cut off half of it, and uh, decided I'd see if there was any treasure, and I found a big old treasure chest right over here full of dog treats which the dog will be happy about of course and uh that's about it that's all i've really found thus far so we'll continue on because as far as i'm aware there's nothing else down here i think maybe there's more maybe we should double check considering i was wrong before uh doesn't look like it. Yeah, there's the body that the beetles popped out of. Yeah, it's nothing. Nothing, uh. too out of the way from the split in the path I took. So there we are, there's the monks. So that means I'm close. Uh, there should be more treasure, shouldn't there? Should be more treasure chests in this general area. Ah, uh, that one I opened already. Okay. Fair enough, then, uh, whoop. What is that? Did I go over there? I don't think I went over there. I should double check. Alright. Oh, wow, frame rate. <laughs> Just, uh, kind of dropping down there. Kind of dropping down the tubes. Alright. Well, this is the graveyard, which was not necessarily what I was looking for, but I mean... Hey, there's a treasure chest. That I was looking for. <laughs> Alright. I am half asleep. My brain's not functioning quite properly yet. That's fine. I barely have any money anyway. What money I do have will be going into buying more shops to bring in more income. But that will not be for a while yet. Oh, it's actually pointing me this direction, is it? Yeah, that's that's actually pointing me this direction. I'm not entirely sure I want to go down that way. I want to keep going the way that it's not pointing me. Because then I can try and get more treasure. Uh, anything? There's a key chest. And that is ten. I need ten. Which I apparently don't have. How many do I have is the question. Because I don't honestly remember off the top of my head. <laughs> uh, silver key. Five. Okay. Perfect. I can open up, 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 up. I can open up the five key ones. But uh, can I talk? No. Obviously. Uh, what? Oh. Oh. They do still have it. Okay. The engraving on the headstone is too worn away to read. Oh. There's got to be some of them I can read. Time has erased whatever was once written here. Oh, oh! I can't read any of these. Oh, the ones in uh, <laughs> Fable 1 were weirdly, adorably doofy. <laughs> I guess if you want to call it that. Uh, some were kind of macabre. But hey, I mean, sometimes it's fun to be macabre. Okay. Alright, I should probably go in a proper direction. Eh? And I guess that means I gotta go this way. There we are. Whoa, oh, hello. Hi oh, there. Rosalia, why didst thou leave me? Oh. Uh -huh. You carved your name on my stony heart only to shatter it with the sledgehammer of your absence. Oh, hello. Hello. I wager you have never known a love truer and purer than mine. Probably. Oh, to get a glimpse of such love, even for just a few seconds, would inflict my soul with delight. A tender proposal of marriage between two sweethearts is all that I ask. Such a sight would surely unlock my pain. Okay, so 
very much beating me over the head with the uh, solution here. Uh, wants to get, uh, wants to see someone get hitched in front of you. Okay, I can do that. Eventually, after maybe a couple decades. All right. Um, pretty sure there should be some treasure over here. I'm on the treasure hunt. I am just trying to get as much as I can. All right. Uh, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I could buy this, though, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe, baby. That's gross. Okay. Oh, I can buy it. Fuck yeah. And bonus do-gooder. Nope. Oh. What's the history? It is thanks to the efforts of one Molly Springwater who lived in this house that chickens enjoy the right not to be imprisoned in small cages. Oh, it's a free-range chicken. Okay. She also campaigned extensively for their protection during the anti-chicken hysteria that followed the publication of the novel Megafowl. Alrighty then. That's a weird thing. Let's buy that and rent it out. Good time. Okay, well, um, made the door open for me to walk in. So, uh, hi there, I guess I'm coming in. <laughs> Just to see if you have treasure. No? Okay. Alright, well, bye. <laughs> Give me money later. That's, that's the main reason I bought the place. Alright, um, yeah, okay. Good shit. Now, I... Would would you would you please point in the right direction, Trail? Please, once, once in your miserable life, just point in the right direction. Thank you. Alrighty, perfect. Whoa, that was a weird glitch. You guys saw that, right? That was like a minor hey. sort of thing. Alrighty, let's just get a moment. One. And they still got gifts for me to. Why? Why are you changing direction? Jesus. Alright. It's it's every time I start running, it's just like, oh, what? Uh, recalculating. And then fucking not able to choose a single spot to go right. Ah. Alright, anyway. Now we're back on the right track after buying a house. <laughs> and not living in it. That's usually how it goes. At least uh, in this market, this economy. Buy the place, but don't live in it. You hold on to it until you can sell it for more, because that's how that fucking should work. You bunch of jackasses. As you can tell, I'm not really fond of people who do that. <laughs> uh, we, One thing I think we, uh, Americans should do, uh, that Vancouver tax that they implemented, uh, the vacancy tax, uh, if it doesn't have people living in it for, you know, six months, that they should be taxed like, a one percent of the value of the place. That is really cool, and I think that is something we should institute. Father, the sacred texts clearly say that only two monks may enter the cave, no one else. Only I'll two monks? I'll not send my only child into unknown dangers without any protection. I will find an escort, and that's the end of it. All right. I guess they mean me. Hello. <coughs> Very late. No, you don't ah, say. Hello there, my child. Hello. I wonder... Brothers, leave us. The abbot is assuming Let I shall Let me take a look at you for a moment. Hmm? Hey, then. Armed. Quite imposing. But I can't send just anyone in there. Ah, quite impressive, but... Uh, no, I think not. Oh, come on. You look imposing, all right, but I can't entrust our community's survival to a complete stranger. Oh, come on! Perhaps if you built up a reputation, I'd be more inclined to trust you. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Rookridge has been having a horrible time with bandits lately. Yeah, I noticed. Why don't you go to the tavern and see if you can do anything about them? The that tavern that was abandoned? Start. Last time the I was there? The blessing must go forward if you're to find the pilgrim. 
You must gain the abbot's favor. Uh, Perhaps yes, you can okay. find a way to impress him in the town. Use your map to see where quests and jobs are. Quests and jobs. Well, I don't need a job. I just need a quest. Really, your map can give you information about regions, points of interest, and much more. I suggest you look at your quests now. All right, but there's also sales going on. New ones. Oh, there's a trader shortage. Oh, at the camp. Oh, no. Uh, currently suffering from a small shortage due to several recent unexplained acts of arson. Uh-oh. Well, hopefully it's not like San Francisco. If you have anything to sell, this is a good place to do it. Alrighty. That would be a good idea if I was pulling shenanigans like that. But right now I'm not. So, yeah. <laughs> not worth it. When you select a quest... It becomes your current objective. If you like, you can quickly travel to a next stage of your quest as well. Of course, quests are only one way of gaining renown. You could always marry into the village if you're feeling particularly adventurous. Once you find a quest you like the sound of, you can read about it and find out more. If I'm feeling particularly adventurous, I can just marry into the village. So you just want me to shag my way into the community's, you know, well wishes and respect? Nah, nah, nah. That, that's not how I play. <laughs> I couldn't keep a straight face. But <laughs> I'm not going to play it like that. That's not what I'm going to do. What I am going to do is definitely get that bridge fixed. So that way I can go back without, you know, being told, oh, you I'm can't go back. Welcome to our oh. corner of the world. Hi there. I kind of cut you off there for a second, but I was trying to get that little marker off the fucking pin pad. Pin pad. Uh, directional pad. I'm broken today. <laughs> Onward I go. Towards the things that I must do. And one of them is to fix the bridge. Or at least make it able to be fixed. By... Slaying all the bandits, I assume? I would hope. That's probably it. Because that makes sense. You have to get rid of the bandits so that way they aren't going to re-break the bridge. The best way to do that is fucking... You know. A couple beheadings. Usually. <laughs> usually. Key phrase. That's usually enough to get people, you know, to stop being a dumbass. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Um. Dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. How could this happen? Oh, wait. I mean, right after I bought the deeds, too. Blam! Down it goes. Come on, Barnum, old boy. You'll think of something. If there's one thing you can do, it's cogitate on your feet. <laughs> like Uncle Phineas used to say, if life hands you a collapsed bridge, make bridge emanate. Bridge Eminate. Uh, yeah, perhaps some sort of flying engineers. They could go right over the bandits. Still couldn't pay them, though. Yeah. Oh, fluffle buns. Fluffle I'm sunk. Buns. Sunk, sunk, sunk. Cogitate on your feet. That makes me definitely think that that was the guy who took my picture way back when, when I was a little kiddo. But, uh, requires me to go up. you were paying for peanuts. There we go. Hey, buddy. You remember me? Well, wrap me in pigskin and call me a sausage. Look who it is. Okay. It's me, Barnum. Yeah, I remember. Stone, remember? Yeah, how could I rem you help me not remember? You helped me with taking business. How'd that go? Not that it ever took off. Still gam plussled about that one. Oh, it wasn't your fault. Uh, it felt anyway, like that my was fault. a long time ago. Lots of exciting ventures since then. Oh, really? Look at you now! All grown up! Yeah! A proper adventurer, too! Oh, yeah. I bet that sister of yours is very proud. Uh. Me, um, I'm in a bit of a custard right now. Uh, and it was all going so well. I made the deal of the century just the other day. This wonderfully strange fella sold me the bridge in Rookridge. 
So cost you... me every last piece of gold I had, but a thing like that pays for itself, what with all the trade tolls and everything. Okay. Only now, the bally thing's fallen to pieces, and no one can get close enough to reconstructify it. Bandits, you see. Bunch of sprockless rotters. Probably saw them on your way here. Keep yeah. popping up all over the place, they do. That's typically what they you do. You couldn't give them a proper scene, too. Could you? For old times' sakes. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I'd be positively ambidextrous if you would. That is not you the right word. You could even have me old Thessaurus. I know it by heart now, anyway. You really shouldn't, honestly. Because, <laughs> uh, you're using A, wrong words, and B, I'm not even words. If my bridge doesn't get rebuilt. It won't be the first time I can tell you. Well, I mean, you can't necessarily say you're ruined if you're able to rebuild enough to try another venture that then After fails. After my spoon straightening business went under, I thought I got myself back on track. And now this! Spoon straightening? It's not just anybody who gets to own their own bridge, you know. You'd be helping a future rich man. A real golden heir. That's not how it works, but okay. So you'll get rid of all the bandits in Rookridge? Oh, yeah. Wondrous! I knew I could count on you, old friend. Alrighty. Please be careful, though. These villains are a dangerous lot. Are they? The guards haven't had much luck, but with you on board, I know it will all turn out spiffingly. That gold will be rolling in in no time. Fair enough. Uh, you just make sure to share some of that, would you? Eh? Eh? I need it kind of right now. Like a lot of it. Okay, onward we go. To fix the bridge, or at least eventually fix the bridge after I kill all the bandits. Alrighty, onward we go. Oh, come on, really? Damn it. Fucking trail always does that. Every time I start running. And there we are. Cross over this way. And, oh, 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 okay. That confused me, but Doggo found something. Sounds like Doggo found something. Hey, 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 hey. You are not allowed to get past this point. No, you're not. There we go. There we go. You little shitheads. You are not supposed to be here. There we go. There we go. I don't care about the treasure right now. We have bigger fish to fry. The stalls are no opening. Okay, maybe. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. There we go. There we go. Work that. There we go. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. You guys suck. And. Really? Come on. That's what I wanted. Good shit. Perfect. All right, Doggo. How about we uh, go get that treasure you wanted to show me? Huh? There we go. Thank you. There it is. Beautiful. Ah, 500 gold. Good find, Doggo. Good find. There you go. Who's a good... Who's a good fluffer? You're a good fluffer. Okay. Uh, just making sure there's no other fucking things. No, not really. Just that body. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> All right. I dealt with the Hobbs anyway. Onward I go towards Rook Ridge. There we go. I don't know why the path made me take the one that passed by the Hobbs. Which, why there are hobs outside of a cave, I have no idea. But hey, at least I dealt with them. Town owes me money. <laughs> For each one killed. I could play like that, but I shouldn't. At least if I want to be a nice guy. <laughs> I shouldn't play like that. Alright, onward we go. Someone's coming. Better yeah, it's tell me. the boss. Better tell the boss. Yeah, of course he didn't see me. He has no depth perception, one-eyed Bob. 
There we go. Onward we go. Towards, apparently, their boss. Whoever that is. Alright, the Rookridge Inn has been added. Yeah. Still abandoned. Well, hi there! Game! Game? You did not say it like you were actually... Oh, hello. Okay, hello. I did not expect you guys there. Come on. Come on, really? That's what I wanted. There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's working out beautifully. Well, some of it is. <laughs> and cut you up a bit. How about you? Get a little more electricity going for you. Oh, that that's long. There we go. Get some of the points. There we are. That was a weird sound that was playing. Huh. Okay. Well, dealt with your boys, Bertram, whatever your fucking name is. Dash! Why do you think they call me Dash? Stupid! How could I run the cards before I was out of nappies? What chance have you got? Oh, uh, plenty. The last idiot who tried to chase me went blue in the face and killed over. And I was already miles away. I could shoot your smug mug all day long. Really? <laughs> Sorry, scum. Got a dash. Gotta go fast. Okay. Well, in that case, I should keep running after you. Alrighty. Onward we go. Since I'm a hero, I should be able to last no problem in this little race he wants to do. Alright. Oh, ow. Shit, head. Alright, there you go. Knocked you around. Ha <laughs> ha. Perfect. And I can now afford shock, but shock's not really on my itinerary right now. I don't want to buy a new ability. I don't want to buy a new ability right now. Wait, wait, what is this? That's a 15. Fuck. Okay. I was hoping it was a 5. Up, oh, up, oh, hey, hey, hey. Hi there. There we go. Knock you around. Ow, you little shithead. Fuck you. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Perfect. You didn't like... What? Way to fucking have a team cohesion, you jackasses. Come on. Okay. That worked out. <laughs> Brutal styles. Perfect. Would that bring me flourishes? Is Because that was what I was trying to do there. <laughs> uh, Brutal styles. Yeah, it would give me flourishes. Alright. Yep. Okay, perfect. I've learned the Brutal Style Flourish. Yep, I know how that works. I did it in the last game. All right, onward we go. Whee! Still there? Yeah. You're wasting your time, you drazzy slug. You drazzy slug. <laughs> Will you now? You'll use my blood to make a sign that says "fuck off." Oh, about that. All right. Oh, that was beautiful. Anything more? Nope, okay. Love it when it does that. Uh, you're over here, right? If I remember, right? Nope. Huh. You went over there. If you leave now, all progress will be lost. I don't want to do that. Don't even bother coming after me. I'm the fastest man in Albion. Well, I'm keeping up with you pretty well thus far. Literally. You haven't killed us all yet. Yeah, not yet. Eventually, I will. There we go. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, and down you go. Yeah, I'm just going to knock you around a little bit. There we go. <laughs> ah, that's beautiful. I should probably drink that water for my health. There we go. And it did it. Beautiful. Onward we go. Get lost, you damn dog. Well done. <laughs> actions continue to shape the world. That it does. And he just went flying. <laughs> Woo! Alrighty. Anything? Ah, okay. Well, I did the thing. 
bridge too far is done. Gotta return to Barnum. But I can do that in the next episode, because right now I'm quite a bit over time. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat, playing games and defeating bandits who are taking over bridges and fucking them up because money, I guess, for you.